Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video on this new Arc Waveframe Grenade Launcher that we can get from Nightfalls this week. It's called Undercurrent. You can get this from any difficulty Nightfall you want, but if you want the Adept version, you will have to run the Grandmaster. The Adept will get you some slightly improved stats, access to Adept mods, and two traits to pick from in the left column. But don't worry, it's absolutely not necessary to get the Adept, so don't feel like you're missing out if you can't run a GM. Just run it on Hero until you get one that you like. And also, Undercurrent will rotate back into Nightfalls since this season is like a million years long. You've got plenty of time. So, Undercurrent. Once this thing was announced, everyone, including myself, asked the question, is this better than Forbearance, which has been the GOAT waveframe grenade launcher since it was released in Vow of the Disciple last year? The main appeal with Forbearance has been how it gets access to Chain Reaction, which will absolutely shred through low-tier enemies. How does Undercurrent stack up against the GOAT? Let's first start with the difference between Chain Reaction on Forbearance and Volt Shot on Undercurrent. Chain Reaction is a very strong trait, and every final blow will trigger an explosion and obviously cause a chain reaction, very strong for ad clear. But one thing I noticed when comparing the difference is that chain reaction seems to clear ads in more of a linear path where Volt Shot on Undercurrent can really stretch out laterally as well. Volt Shot is very similar to chain reaction, but it's more chain lightning. It's almost impossible to test actual specific damage numbers caused by the Jolt AoE effect because most of the time low tier red bar ads just get one shot, so it doesn't even matter what the damage is. But I gotta say, Volt Shot is nice in how it can spread out more than Chain Reaction can. Another advantage that Volt Shot gets is its direct arc synergy. The jolt effect that happens will stun overload champions, so all you have to do is get a kill, reload, and then just hit any overload enemy and boom, you've got a stun. And any enemies that you jolt will stay jolted for 10 seconds, allowing you to swap to a heavier hitting weapon to deal damage to that enemy to chain lightning to other enemies. This is definitely an advantage over Forbearance. The only downside I guess to Volt Shot is that you're on a 7 second timer to actually utilize Volt Shot, where with Chain Reaction, it's just just always there. But most of the time you're using a wave frame is when there are tons of low tier enemies nearby, so I don't think it's that big of a drawback. But let's talk about the left column traits. In Undercurrent's left column, we can get Demolitionist, which is one of my personal favorite traits. The main reason I like Demo is that it replenishes grenade energy on each kill, 10% to be exact. With how wave frames in general can clear adds very easily, and with the addition of Volt Shot making it even easier, you will get your grenade back very quickly. Demo will also allow you to throw a grenade to reload your magazine, but just keep in mind that this method of reloading unfortunately will not proc Volt Shot, so you still need to manually reload if you want Volt Shot to work. Eddy Current is another trait that you can swap out for Demolitionist that will help you get faster reloads, but I would much rather still have Demolitionist. Ambitious Assassin is in the left column too, you might be like, wait, why aren't you talking about that? But you actually don't want this with Volt Shot, since Volt Shot requires a reload for it to work. So Ambitious kind of works against what Volt Shot does. And in the right column, in my opinion, you don't want anything else besides Volt Shot. It's just the best option. Alright, so Forbearance, on the other hand, has access to a couple good traits as well. My preferred role is Unrelenting and Chain Reaction for the crazy healing capabilities, but some people do like Ambitious Assassin to get two rounds in the mag instead, which Ambitious does work well on Forbearance. Both are strong traits, so you really can't go wrong, and because Ambitious gets you two in the mag, this might give Forbearance the overall edge on ad clear and AoE damage, because with Chain Reaction, we don't need to rely on reloads for it to work, so two in the mag just means two instant Chain Reactions, which is great. Okay, traits out of the way, what about the Origin traits? Well, it's actually pretty similar in that they're both based on health regeneration. Soul Drinker from Forbearance will restore between 20 to 80 HP when you reload, and the amount of HP restored is based Based on the amount of hits you get with it before reloading. Vanguard's Vindication on Undercurrent will restore 7 HP per kill, and you don't need to reload for it to work. It will just kind of actively heal you. So the healing on Undercurrent is very good, but I'll say if you go with Unrelenting on Forbearance, then the healing is going to be better than Undercurrent. So, final thoughts. This is a tough one. If you're going for straight up ad clear, Forbearance with Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction is just going to be the better play. And even for the healing potential, Forbearance with Unrelenting and Chain Reaction will still edge out Undercurrent. But if you want just a jack-of-all-trades weapon that's like 90% as good as 
use Forbearance and Add Clear and Healing Potential, that also gets access to Arc Synergy with Jolting, which can stun Overloads, then Undercurrent is the way to go. And one thing I know a lot of people will love is that you don't have to grind out Valve the Disciple for the five patterns to craft it. All you have to do is run Nightfalls, it's pretty easy. And sure, Forbearance, obviously if you do craft it, you get access to the enhanced traits, but again, I would not have that discourage you from trying to get the Undercurrent, it's just a really, really good weapon. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Undercurrent will be back in six weeks, so don't worry if you can't get one this week, you've got plenty of time to get it. Alright everyone, that is it for this one, I will catch you all in the Discord or the next video.